I'm on Donkom Rompa V3 Killing Harmony. <laughs> <laughs> I see you've learned what an alibi is thanks to the previous incident. But what the fuck is this insect meet and greet bullshit? <laughs> Why? But me, me you, you really shouldn't say that out loud if Gonta hears you. So what? Bugs are fucking dumb. Zorin, we need to go. Trucy's waiting at the cafe, and last time Trucy got bored, we had to replace one of Apollo's kidneys. Right, I was just marking this unmarked grave. Let us be off. Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to Rompa V3 Killing Harmony. And welcome to the second class trial. I'm very excited to start this, and I, I don't really have anything to say after the last episode, but these characters are a ton of fun to hang out with, I'm just saying. I don't think I've ever had, like, a more likable cast of characters in any sort of game like this. Um, or at least I should say within the Rompa franchise. Like, I like two a whole lot better than one. One's cast of characters never particularly stuck with me in any way. I, I don't know, I really like quite a few of them. Anyways, let's touch the Monokuma. Bulge and move on. Do we have to go through this cutscene every single time? I mean, we saw it the first- I mean, I know it's glorious, but... The door appeared before us with pomp as if sending heroes off to war. After a pause, we all stepped toward the door. We were silent. All I could hear was our unsteady breathing. Just as we passed through the door... Something happened this time? Oh, I thought the elevator was gonna get stuck. <laughs> Wonder Grim was like, shit, I spent so much money on this thing and it just gets stuck over and over. It started up again. Well, Kokichi, I guess it's time to grab the lube again. Wait, wait, what? Wait, again? Wait, what do you mean again? Nothing, just fix the elevator. Normally I wouldn't mind the shaking, but I'm feeling especially sensitive to it now. Each of us felt that trembling through our entire bodies as we sank further still. Without sure footing, I'm positive I would have fallen as well. My breathing be was becoming more ragged, my heart pounded harder and harder. Just when I thought I would pass out from the nerves, the elevator came to a stop, but this wasn't the end, no. It was only just the beginning. Welcome! Welcome, you've hopelessly arrived once again. <laughs> hmm, did you want to come here again because of how wonderful it is? Isn't it wonderful? I put so much effort into building this place, it should be a monument. Aww. Actually, we're the ones who use the exosols to build this courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> but father just took all the credit. Wonderful. But I am happy to be used as a slave by father. That is a disturbing line. What are you saying? You idiots are really committing to this henchman bit. They're so cute. You guys are just so cute that I can't help working you to the bone. <laughs> you put a lot of elaborate detail into this courtroom, almost like it's for a show. Oh? For a show, huh? That's an interesting way to put mm -hmm. it. Is this just for a show? Or are you showing this to people outside and... <laughs> Ooh, those people aren't with us, so you don't need to worry about them. <laughs> I, I don't think they're going to do what Junko did and be like, it's a show. Because even at the beginning, those people were showing like, and I know this is kind of out of the character's knowledge, but it was all those people being like, what happened to them? It's like, I think they were taken by that group or whatever, so obviously no one knows it happened. Get it? They're not with us, as in they're no longer with us, you know what I mean? Hey, um... In other words, you 13 are the only ones left in the world. Now, show me just how you intend to bargain for your lives. Is that true? Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> um, I wonder if anyone's gonna believe that line. Then the class trial began. Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. I love how no one really thought about the fact that he just said, Last 13... Wait, why would he say that we're the last pe 13 people alive on the planet, but give us motive videos to get out because something terrible is going to happen to people? Unless that's just supposed to be like a, Oh, I'm being edgy despair man right now. <laughs> After falling from his former glory, he told us he had no reason to live. 
But even so, he said he wanted to fight beside us, to get out of here with us. For that, he was trying to find a reason to live. He might have been a little stern, but he wasn't a cold man at all. And the person who killed him... ...was himself. <laughs> Actually, that has happened in Danganronpa before, so... Twice. <laughs> I love, I love Hibiko saying right there, she's just like, yeah, I, I'm doing a good job. <laughs> I want to believe it's a lie, I don't want to believe it at all, but... If this is where I find the truth, I won't avert my eyes anymore. This is the wish she entrusted to me. I will find the truth to get out of here with everyone alive. I'm going to survive. Oh, I was so worried, I put it on auto and then I got rid of the text box, I'm like, oh no, I'm skipping so much text right now. I'm going to survive. I can't die here in order to keep my promise to her. I will fight. I will fight for my life in this trial of truth and lies. Do you want to save? Yes, I do. Thank you, video game. I probably should have ended the episode when it asked me to save, but whatever. <laughs> Ooh, I forgot we have skills. And... So I only have six of these uh, influence points to spend. I know I already have several skills. I have the machine gun. Yeah, okay, so I only have six fragments right now, but I have 37 slots, which is a little ridiculous, uh, especially seeing as how... I don't think I have any other skills, do I? No, I have the one I bought, which was machine gun. I think I'm just gonna save up for now. I don't want to waste it this early, you know? We'll just save up. I don't remember, like, half the controls to this because it happens so infrequently. <laughs> well, let's begin the class trial, then, for Ryoma Hoshi. Ryoma Hoshido! I am the Lobster Lord. Click, click, clack. Also, also <laughs> ultimate tennis player. <laughs> let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. The, this is gonna be the third time if you do a basic explanation. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. I know. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person... We all die. I know the stick, Monokuma. I'll punish everyone besides the blackened. And that person will graduate from this academy. Also, refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. Now, let's get this crazy, awesome, crazy awesome to the max trial underway. I think we all know who the most suspicious one is. It's... Kokichi. <laughs> Let's combine our power and work together, everyone. <laughs> she just cuts him off before he's able to inflict any damage. Um, the person who's most suspicious is... Now let me your energy, everyone, so we can catch the culprit. <laughs> She's just completely cutting him off. This is great. Because the murder happened during the magic show, the culprit can only be... today <laughs> Tenko, why are you interrupting me we can't have a good trial if you talk over me <laughs> it's like the first time he's been serious ever huh i'm not interrupting you whatever you have to say is probably worthless anyway because all males want to talk about is s e himiko seems suspicious <laughs> thanks angie <laughs> Hey! Angie, how can you accuse Himiko? I swear Nya is actually part of her vocabulary. Like, it means something. Aren't you her friend? Um, I'm just telling you what Atua is telling me. He is using his divine knowledge to show us the way to survive. You should thank him, lest he pour his holy wrath upon you all. Screw Atua! That guy's got nothing on me! <laughs> you really shouldn't say that, Tenko. I think Angie might take that a little too personally. I'll protect Himiko! But it does point to Himiko being the most suspicious. Ryoma died during Himiko's magic show. His body appearing in the water tank leads one to think the escape trick played a part. It's only natural we suspect Himiko. She was the one performing the trick. No, that's wrong. 
The underwater escape wasn't a trick. It was magic. It's not the part you need to deny. You gotta tell us you're not the culprit. Magic, mm. huh? That's so cool. What a mysterious miracle. Says the one who's talking to the sky every five seconds. Now, did you kill Ryoma, Himiko? Atua will hear your confession. Stop it! There's no way any of that is true! Wait, what if the killer refuses to vote on who did it? Does that mean that person dies when we all get away or we still all die because the killer can't be punished? It's true though. Himiko used the underwater escape trick to kill Ryoma. But I still don't have a clue how Himiko did the trick. Th there's no trick. That really was magic. No, it was not. You know, maybe it really was magic. <laughs> Gonta, you know, maybe we gotta consider all the possibilities here, guys. I, Gonta, a certified scholar, project my opinion that we should allow the possibility of magic into this investigation. Now, who is with me, Byakuya? <laughs> oh, stop it. If you don't reveal your trick now, then we'll vote you as the culprit. Stop picking on Himiko! A cute tiny flower like her couldn't kill anyone. When I saw Tenko's design originally, I was so curious what that thing on the back of her head was. I assumed it was a gigantic throwing star. <laughs> I get that you want to defend her, but that might be a bit much. As I expected, the others suspect Himiko. But I have my doubts. I can't let this case get derailed by misunderstandings. I'm the ultimate detective, so it's up to me. Yeah, here we go. Time to mess everything up, because I suck at this game. <laughs> I love how Kibo looks sad. He's Atua like, oh. has blessed me with an epiphany. The culprit used the underwater escape trick uh -huh. to pull off a sneaky switcheroo with Ryoma. Well, I gotta look at the controls again. Silencer, fast forward, concentrate, truth cylinder. And I remember we can lie too, but... It seems kind of hard to get the lies out, unless the game tells you to, because I know you can also have, like, alternative lies, but I'm not really sure what would work. I'm not sure if it always After tells that, you the what's a lie and what the isn't. Above Ryoma opened and or when came to lie. Out. Ah, and he was eating alive. That's wrong already. To bone by piranhas. Well, I already know what to prove wrong. Savage way to go. No, that's wrong. Hey, she can say it too. The underwater escape was no trick. It's magic. We heard you the first time, Titless. No one cares. <laughs> Don't be so mean to her, Mew. Ryoma's body was eaten by the piranhas that fell into the tank. That is a fact, but that doesn't mean it's the it was the cause of death. Atua has blessed me with an epiphany. The culprit used the underwater escape trick. Yes. To pull off a know. sneaky switcheroo with Ryoma. After that, the time ran out. How do I speed it up again? B-point! Damn it, I missed. I have to get better at that. You have to do it earlier if you want to have that happen. And he was eating a lot! Oh shit, that's so hard to do. Oh shit. Okay, so it's pause the moment you see it. And he was eating a lot! No, he wasn't. That's wrong! There we go. No, Ryoma's death was not caused by the piranhas. The Monokuma file indicates the cause of death is drowning. So it wasn't the piranhas then. He was drowned. I was half expecting you to say like the piranhas choked him out or something, Kaido. <laughs> Ooh, I see. I haven't checked the Monokuma file yet, so that's news to me. Little brat, telling lies is what turns you into a degenerate male. Not so being what? born with male genitals? Ryoma drowned, Himiko changed places with him, and then the piranhas ate him, right? No, Himiko only had 60 seconds to escape from the tank. Even if they'd changed places at the start of the show, that's insufficient time to drown someone. If that is the case, then when did he drown? When did Ryoma drown? It was obviously after the promise dropped, before the show started. That's it. 
I got it. I'm so smart. Good thing everyone here is so dumb to make me look smart. Before being eaten by the piranhas, he made no attempt to escape the water. To be precise, he made no movements whatsoever. Yes. By that point, he had already joined the ranks of the dead. That's right, best boy. Back Could me up on this. Could that body was hidden until the culprit made it appear in the tank? Hidden? Where? The culprit would have had to hide the body near the tank and then show it during the act. Not necessarily. Easier said than done. Was there a place on stage where the culprit could have hid the body? Under the stairs, oh, if they wanted Himiko to. Himiko should know since she performed the underwater escape trick. Himiko, why won't you just explain it to us? Because it's magic. You no, know, maybe it really was magic. Shut up. <laughs> God, Maki. Himiko is committed to her act, but those who deal in dreams are oft liars. Why is everyone still picking on Himiko? You're all worse than a drunk dad's ramblings. I have an idea of what happened to you. We should let him vent. After all, it's tough being the man of the house. <laughs> man, we gotta figure out how the trick works to find where the body was hidden. But Himiko does not wish to tell us how she performed her act. Then let's work together to reveal the secret behind Himiko's trick! So, not real magic? Yes, not real magic, Gonta. No, it was real magic. Magic. Okay, what the magic. hell? Magic. <laughs> what? Magic. <laughs> oh no! It's Himiko's curse! Her curses are really powerful! You're overdoing it, Tenko. Incantations usually more um complicated than that. Anyway, <laughs> how about just ignoring all the shit? He's like, uh, anyway, we need to determine how Himiko performed the trick. If we can't figure that out, this case is going nowhere. Scratch handcuffs, squirt. How did Himiko escape the water tank? Maybe she just climbed out and no one noticed. <laughs> nah, yeah, she that was definitely would have been caught. Perhaps the mechanism was set up on the stage. The it was. Covering the tank was. But I want to see what else suspicious. you guys have to say. What about that square pane of glass we found in the tank? Maybe the tank had a secret hatch. It must be real magic. Yeah, real escape magic. Maybe there were two Himikos. And one of them was Sumugi in disguise. Hey, my costumes aren't disguises. So it'd be the water tank trick? That's right, there was a similar water tank in Himiko's lab. If I remember my investigation, there was some trick to the How tank. Did Himiko escape the it water was a square tank? glass pane, wasn't or no, the water Maybe tank. Maybe she just climbed out and no one noticed. Nah, she definitely would have been caught. Perhaps the mechanism was set up on the stage. I'm gonna go with the, the second tank one. Certainly suspicious. What about that square pane of glass we found in the tank? Maybe the tank had a secret hatch. I doubt this is it, but I agree. Never mind, I got it right. She's actually smiling. She's not completely angry and hideous when she's smiling. Maki is correct. There was an escape hatch on that tank. I see. So it did have one. That's right. I discovered a similar tank in Himiko's lab. There was a panel on the side that could open. That was her escape. Mind over strength! Oh, come on. We just started. Don't throw out a rebuttal already. No! Your logic is all wrong, Shuichi. Oh, really? You're telling the ultimate detective he's wrong? Well, go ahead, Kung Fu girl. It's not Kung Fu. It's Neil. I keep... Well, yeah, whatever you want to call your fake Kung Fu. Hmm? What do you mean? <laughs> and you don't even know why you're wrong either. Typical degenerate male. I'll smash in your face with my fists of hot burning steel! That is not how trials work, Tenko. I forgot the controls to this. Oh no, we did this like one time. Tenko, please. Oh no. No, 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 no. Okay, Tenko, the hold on. Of the tank being open. 
Tenko, I have not Doesn't trained in the blade lately. With Himiko's escape. She didn't use an escape hatch. I know she didn't do that. And now, I'm gonna punch you! Wait a second. Before you punch me, <laughs> what makes you so sure she didn't? Because if she escaped from a hatch in the tank, the water... Okay, so what are even our options in the true cylinder? I'd like to look at that first. Would have gushed but... out with her. There would have been water Oh, the wet everywhere. staircase? That wouldn't be magical at all. The whole trick would be ruined. With that out of the way, I'm gonna punch you! That is not the solution. Damn. Didn't get it perfect, so she owned me. Because if she escaped from a hatch in the the water would have gushed out with her. There would have been water everywhere. Oh, I didn't even see that the I'll first time. Cut your words. I was too busy looking at the swords. There was a reason the room wasn't flooded with water. The staircase that was attached to the water tank. Try to remember how the staircase was positioned. It was aligned perfectly with the tank's escape hatch, meaning the water tank was connected to the inside of the staircase. Inside staircase? His body was in stairs? <laughs> Knowing that, it's clear how Himiko made her escape from underwater. There was a curtain covering the tank during the performance, allowing Himiko to enter the staircase from the hatch undetected. Any water that spilled out would have simply funneled into the staircase. So how do you get out from the staircase? The staircase also has an escape hatch, one facing away from us. Well, okay, that seems a lot more complicated than I would have thought. I thought that the staircase was actually hollow and like you could go into the whole thing, but the way the diagram's displaying it, like only someone of Himiko's side could boss or size could actually get out like that. I thought that it was go out the hatch and then there would be a giant open hollow staircase. I didn't think it was a tiny little Himiko slot. It's placed so that the water would not drain from the staircase. In which case, a person could exit and leave water inside the staircase. However, that person would be soaked, meaning that some trace should be left. <laughs> that would explain why there was a puddle around the stairs. I'm just waiting for <laughs> I'm just waiting for Squeegee to make the screw up of like walking him to Himiko, and he's like, "Himiko, are you wet?" And she's just like, "What? What? What?" And then Tenko murders him in cold blood. <laughs> so when Himiko came out from the stairs. Her wet clothes dripped water all over. Ha <laughs> ha, bitch! Caught you soaking wet and red-handed! See me, you got the joke. <laughs> oh, it goes down with her mood, like, oh. Judging from Himiko's reaction, you hit it right on the bullseye. But Himiko's clothes should have been wet when she left the water tank. Couldn't that... Oh, that's all the remaining time for the trick was. To get her out didn't actually take that long. It took around 10 to 20 seconds. The rest of it was her getting a complete change of clothes, wasn't it? Her clothes were definitely not wet. Of course. That's because my underwater escape wasn't a trick. It was magic. No, magic had nothing to do with why her clothes weren't wet. She, she never went into the water. She dried off quickly. She changed her uniform. Never went into the water. I feel like she changed her uniform. Unless she just originally dropped. That's it. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, she never went in the water. Seemed to be kind of uniform. a stretch. The dormitory is stocked with uniforms. Did you hide one behind the stage in advance? Oh no, she's gonna I flip at this rate. Himiko go to the gym this morning, carrying a uniform and a towel. Ah! Ah! Why would you say that? I see. She had a towel too. She may not have had time to fully dry her hair. But 
Her short hair and hat ensured we were none the wiser. Himiko can't get wet! Because her body repels water! Huh? Like a duck? <laughs> she is kind of like a duck now that I think about it. Himiko, come on. Give it up already. Fine. You win. It's just like you said. The water tank and staircase both have mechanisms. So I was correct. But, but that doesn't mean I used them. I didn't need them, because I used my magic. Again with the magic crap. Were you dropped on your head as a kid? Now that we understand how the trick was performed, let us move on. Thank you, Keo, for getting us back on track. You're like the only reasonable guy here. Yes, let us proceed. Where did the culprit hide Ryoma's body? From our discussion earlier, his body could have been in the space inside the staircase. But that's where Himiko would escape from, right? So Himiko went in the stairs with the body? What kind of kinky shit is she into? <laughs> <laughs> that seems unlikely. There isn't enough space for two people to fit in there. Yeah, the stairs are pretty cramped. It'd be hard to fit even Ryoma and Himiko in there. Who says they went in together? She could have made the... I don't know why they cut off her. At the same early. time, she could have pulled out the body from inside the stairs. That way, she'd have room to put herself in there. See how easy that is. I think that explains how Himiko changed places with Ryoma's body. Wait a minute! Why did you automatically assume it was Himiko? Wait, but didn't, uh... Kaido and I think someone else helped Himiko carry the staircase in the first place, which means that they probably would have felt how heavy the staircase was. Who else but Himiko could have done it? Uh, Angie, you spent more time with Himiko than any of us, so why are you accusing her? You may think you're protecting Himiko, but what if she really is the culprit? We'll all die! And it will be all your fault. Atua will lose precious devotees. None of us are devoted but you, and apparently Himiko. Are you okay with that, Tenko? I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> what what I don't care what anyone says. Himiko would never murder someone. That's what I believe more than anything. I want to believe in her, no matter what. If I can't do that, then I'd rather just die. So until this body takes its final breath, I'm going to keep believing in Himiko. It's going a little, like, I, I know you like her. But this is going a little strong for a girl you met, like, I don't even know how long it's been. Has it been like a week? Out Two weeks? Body is Himiko herself. When Himiko was escaping the tank, she dragged out the body hidden in the stairs and simply switched places with it. What is Gonta's account anyway? I keep seeing that pop up, but I don't. I, I didn't mean to fire that. <laughs> I didn't mean to fire that. During the magic show, when the timer hit 20 seconds, Gonta went up on top of the stage. No one was in the tank during that time. Gonta did, didn't notice Ryoma inside the tank until after the piranhas were released. So. Yeah, until after the piranhas were released, which was after the trick was done. So. Yeah, it's Gonta's account. What happened? No one could have seen that. It would have occurred in the middle of the show, when the tank was covered with a curtain. So basically, no one saw anything. Uh, I didn't do it, I swear. Ryoma's corpse wasn't in the staircase. I know this is completely random, but I love the use of uh, kinetic typography or typography in the use of these cases. It's really neat and is really stylish. Oops. Oh, no, go back. You donkey lip con artist. She's not lying. She's not a con artist, and she doesn't have donkey lips. <laughs> Wait, what was that last thing she just said? The I missed that, what Himiko said. I'm gonna give this one more run-through before I decide to commit. Uh, 
because I didn't like hear what Himiko just said. So the thing that Kokichi said. No, it's the thing that Kokichi said. <laughs> Have Tenko's earnest feelings touched your heart? What kind of detective is so easily swayed by sentiment, though? I made a mistake. I need to think it over again. The only one who could have stopped. So basically, no one saw anything. That's wrong. Oh, that not count as a V point, even though I hit it. Okay, so it has to be slowed down to count as a V point. Someone I didn't know that. I thought it as long as I hit the right spot. It was Gonta. Gonta had climbed onto the stage and was looking into the tank from above. Isn't that right, Gonta? Yeah, Gonta saw down into tank, but saw no one in there. Good job, Gonta. No in there? Yeah, no one. Guess that clue no good, huh? No, that's actually a great clue. <laughs> that was a way Suichi saw He's like, no, that's a great job. Good job, Gonta. <laughs> like he's a child. If Ryoma's body was hidden inside the staircase, Himiko would have had to pull them out before she went inside. There certainly wasn't enough room in the staircase for both of them. But that means, if the tank was empty when Gonta looked, Ryoma's body must not have been hidden in the staircase. What if they squeezed into that space with Ryoma's body to avoid getting caught? She had no need to worry about us witnessing her at that point. For the entire stage was hidden behind a curtain. To all but Gonta, anyway. Then the culprit never would have considered hiding inside the staircase with the body. Entering the staircase after moving the body is much faster, and seems more rational, too. Then... Ryoma's body wasn't hidden in the stairs? Someone better say where the fucking body was hidden, or I'm gonna start cutting throats! That is not going to solve the problem, Miu, and you're already halfway there, seeing as how you are for some reason wearing barbed wire as a necklace. Where was Ryoma's body hidden? We need to pin that down. It's clear that it wasn't inside the staircase, but where? Ahoge senses, go. Where were you hiding Ryoma's body? It wasn't really in the stairs, was it? After all, there was only enough space for Himiko. Well, how about behind the curtain? If there was a way to enter the tank from there, then it would be plausible. There is. Or maybe the body was in the tank all along. It was not. But we just couldn't see it. Impossible. You'd need top-notch visual effects to pull that off. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. But if the body and piranhas were separated... Which they then weren't. Then it wouldn't have been devoured, correct? But then we would have seen it. Why was he not eaten by piranhas even though he was in the same tank? There was one piece of evidence in the crown that might- Oh, okay. Where were you hiding That's Ryoma's That's what the pain body. was used for. The it pain was really used to the separate stairs, them. After all, there was only enough space for Himiko. No, you're right, Kyo, as usual. As always, you're always right, buddy. If there was a way to enter the tank from there. Then, it would be plausible. Or maybe the body- <laughs> No, squishy face, Angie, you're wrong right now. And what of the tank containing the piranhas? No way! If you put a body in there, the piranhas would have eaten it way before we saw it. But if the body and piranhas were separated... I agree! Damn it, I missed the V-point again. I really need to up the, uh, slowed time. I need to up Kokichi's Kyo's stand. This is correct. <laughs> the body and the piranhas were separated. This was accomplished using the square glass pane found in the tank. <laughs> Just as I thought. Using that glass pane as a divider, a safe space could be created in the tank. It is in such a space that the body could be stored, separated from the piranhas. Then that means Ryoma's body was hidden in the piranha tank the whole time! So, Ryoma's body fell into the water tank with the piranhas? Gonta knew it! What is it, Gonta? Gonta was above stage when piranhas fall. 
That's why Gonta see something no one else could. When piranhas fell, Gonta see some big thing fall into water tank with them. Right when the timer hit zero, the buzzer went off. And then... Oh yeah, that's why Gonto was so confused and bewildered. The bottom of the suspended tank swung open and the murky water and jettoey shapes inside fell straight into the water tank Himiko was swimming in. Huh? <laughs> so confused. No. Now that Gonta think about it, Gonta maybe see Ryoma's body. When the piranhas dropped from the tank, I thought I saw something bigger drop as well. The water tank on the bottom is made completely out of glass, correct? Yes, Ultimate Mother. You can see what is happening through the glass. Can you really hide a body in the tank? No one could apparently see the piranhas beforehand. Even in murky water, a dead body would still be visible in a glass tank. Unless a certain something was used to obscure the body. A certain something? We all agree that the glass pane was used to separate the body from the piranhas, correct? Well, that method has the added benefit of hiding the body from view. Yeah, so the piranhas were only facing the front, and the glass pane was behind them. Yeah? How could you hide a body like that? How was the culprit able to conceal the body in the piranha tank? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on. Marked window frame. The window frame in the top window of the gym. Some abrasions. Cram piranhas. The piranhas that ate Ryoma before the magic show, Angie said it looked like there were more piranhas compared- Oh. They added more piranhas and crammed them in there. This is it! That's why. It was the piranhas. This is it! The piranhas were obscuring the body. Correct, as always. Huh? The piranhas? That's right. Remember what Angie said during the investigation? I noticed it right as the show started. I feel like there are more piranhas today than there were yesterday when we were preparing. <laughs> they increased that significantly? I didn't know piranhas fuck like rabbits. It seemed that way, but it wasn't that the actual number of piranhas increased. It's just that they were crammed the into a smaller space. The tank nearly in half, right? The piranhas got crowded together, making it look like there were more of them. The more densely the piranhas are packed, the harder it is to see past them. Because of that, it was difficult to see the body hidden in the tank. That glass pane was the lid from the piranha tank. It was really easy to detach that lid. So it's no wonder they used it as a divider. Gee, thanks for telling us that useless detail. What the heck are you saying? That detail was super useful! Sure, the lid looks a little big, but if you set it diagonally, it would fit perfectly. Nice job, Himiko! Your explanation was awesome! Um, I, I don't know about, hit, like, Tenko sometimes. Like, her obsessive nature with Himiko is a little... Well, it's more than worrying, honestly. With this much evidence, it seems like the body was definitely in the piranha tank. Congrats, Himiko! Now there should be no reason for anyone to suspect you! That doesn't solve the problem. Mm, really? Yeah! Because if you didn't switch places with the body, then you couldn't have killed him! It only means we now have other suspects. You are not cleared of suspicion just yet. Okay, but still, that's way better! Yeah, that's true. She has a point. That's wonderful news, Himiko! Atua is happy for you. <laughs> Atua Apologize, doesn't care. Angie. You and your Atua better tell Himiko you're sorry right now! Atua mm. is sleeping. He went to bed angry because you all doubted him. <laughs> what a petty-ass god! <laughs> no, it's okay. We shouldn't be mad at Angie. We should be mad at this class trial. At this killing game. Oh, that was slightly Himiko! inspirational. Bless your sweet, kind heart. That's what Atua said anyway. <laughs> what? It's too bad that the handsome god went to bed angry, though. Himiko's still brainwashed! But I'm not giving up just yet. 
This is gonna be a breeze. Is it ever a breeze? Seeing some Great. none of you investigated now what are we anything. Do? We're back to square one. And why are we back to square one? Because <laughs> any of us could still be the culprit. Jeez! You flunk out a tard school or something? Nuh uh. Not everyone. <laughs> we can narrow it down <laughs> to whoever doesn't have an alibi yet. Eh? What alibi? I guess I should have known a dumb whore pig like you wouldn't understand. <laughs> so let me explain. <laughs> Who you calling a dumb pig? You don't deny the whore part? If there's this much evidence, then there's no mistake the body was hidden in the piranha tank. But for someone to plant the body in there with such limited time is pretty tricky. Kokichi brings up a valid point. There was only one time the culprit could have set up the scene, or set up this scene. And that was yesterday before nighttime, yesterday during nighttime, before the show this morning. Yesterday before nighttime. I want to say. That's it! Yeah, because we couldn't during nighttime because you're not allowed to be out during nighttime and get all those things. Before nighttime. And in the morning all of us were wandering about, so there was really no way for anyone to get everywhere. Ding, ding, ding! The ultimate detective gets it right again! Wait, how do you know it was before nighttime yesterday? Stop asking me dumbass questions. It could have been solved with the process of elimination. <laughs> Jeez, fine. I'll explain it to the itty bitty pea brained bitchlet. The bitchlet? Uh. <sighs> First, the gym was closed during nighttime, so no one could have entered. Because if you try to enter the gym at night, it'll go off. You talking about my butthole? What? No, she means the alarm. <laughs> After nighttime passed, morning came. But hiding the body before the show was... <laughs> Impossible! Himiko and I were waiting in front of the gym before the morning announcement. Which leaves only one possibility. It was done before nighttime yesterday. Anyone who doesn't get this is just as stupid as the whore bitchlet over there. Oh, going to whore bitchlet now. <laughs> <laughs> so the culprit placed Ryoma's corpse in the piranha tank before nighttime yesterday? Which means he was also killed during that time frame. Yay! Now we know what time the crime happened, right? I still don't really get it, though. Can we narrow down the time of death a bit more? I'm sure we can narrow it down more if we consider the source of the information. Wait, so what's the question? What clue helps determine when Ryoma was killed? <laughs> Thanks for giving me every single possible thing. Um, the insect meet and greet? Was Ryoma present at the insect meet and greet? No, Ryoma's not present. Wow, they have extra dialogue set up just in case you're stupid like me. I don't believe anyone that Gonta captured had seen Ryoma. Oh no! Everyone's staring at me because I'm an idiot. Okay, there we go. Um, can't be anything related to do with a pool. Kokichi's account. Immediately after Kokichi left the ultimate entomologist lab at 9 p.m. last night, he was caught by Kurumi in the entrance hall. He stayed with her until 10 p.m. After he went to the dorms and returned to the ultimate entomologist lab at 11 p.m. Uh, last person who saw Ryoma was Gonto was around 8 p.m. last night. Miu also saw Ryoma for 30 minutes. Oh, okay. That helps. This is it! <laughs> I probably should have picked that in the first place. That was a little obvious. If we can find out who over. last saw Ryoma alive, we can narrow down the time of death. Kirumi, you were asking everyone when they had last seen him, right? Yes. Gonta was the last person who saw Ryoma. What? Really? And when was the last time Gonta saw Ryoma? Um, when Gonta was inviting everyone to insect meet and greet, so... Gonta think that was maybe 8 p.m.? If he was last seen at 8 p.m. and was killed before nighttime officially began... Then we can assume the crime took place between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock at night. So all we must do 
He's find someone with no alibi for that time period, yes? Simple enough. After all, most of us were detained by Gonta then. <laughs> if I recall correctly, the only people that weren't there besides Ryoma... That would be the four of us. Myself, Kaito, Mew, and also... Maki. Wait, what about Kokichi? He wasn't... No, he was there. Well, Kirumi, you would tell the truth, even if it screwed you over. I do this for everyone. It is my duty to unveil the truth, so I do not care if people suspect me. Ah, beautiful! <laughs> Your spirit of self-sacrifice is just too beautiful! <laughs> Kyo, calm down, man. <laughs> oh, he's just flipping out. He's like, oh, so great, the humanity. In fact, his, uh, his voice pitched up quite a bit when he said that line, honestly. I will also say this. The crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night, and I was at the gym during that time. Huh? But I was only there for about five minutes. Why would you even say that, though? You're tying a noose around your neck, you know. Well, I mean, there's no point in not telling the truth, because we don't figure this out, and then what happens? We all die. If Kurumi lies and we still don't figure it out, then we just die anyway, so there's no real point, is there? Because even if we all blame Kurumi, the rest, all of us are just gonna die anyway, which would still be wrong. So it doesn't matter if you, like, put yourself up on the podium with other people. I don't care if it was five seconds. It's way too suspicious that you were alone in the gym. I think the cleaning lady here is the culprit. You killed Ryoma, didn't you? It's too soon to tell. We should hear what everyone has to say, right? Fuck that noise! Mew, you're being extremely unhelpful right now. But Mew, you don't have an alibi for when the crime occurred either, do you? You think I'm suspicious? Uh, I don't even know where the gym is! Doesn't telling such obvious lies make you more suspicious, Mew? <laughs> <laughs> the other two without alibis are Kaito and Maki. Let us hear your testimonies. I was in my research lab the whole time. I didn't go to the gym. But that cannot be proven, can it? It really what can't for the Kanto? most part. Only murderers grow out creepy facial hair like mustaches and goatees. <laughs> what? My goatee's not creepy. It gives me a glamorous celebrity vibe. He does look like a celebrity. I'll give him that. Anyway, among those four, the culprit must be the one who doesn't have an alibi. I apologize, but given the circumstances, we have no choice but to suspect you. Suspect who? Who's the culprit? Wait up! Why are you guys suspicious of me? Oh, no, I've been not helping this. the whole time! Oh wait, I remember now. I do have an alibi. You will see whether or not I am suspicious as the trial progresses. Kurumi, you seem the type that wouldn't bother talking over everyone else. I'm no not way the I'm the culprit! Oh no, the mass panic debate is gonna start. That's what you're thinking, right? Well, you're exactly correct, buddy. Le but first, let me give you another tutorial. The mass panic debate this time around will have loud voice dialogue. It's when one of your opponents shouts their opinion in a loud voice. That blocks out everyone's arguments. Even if you see a weak spot, you can't refute it. Oh no, what do I do then? That's what you're thinking, right? Luckily, just like the white noise, shut them up with the X button silencer. After, after that, all the arguments will be audible again. Then you just shoot the truth bullet at the weak spot. You know the drill. Thank you for understanding. Oh, great. Gonta's account pool rules Maki alone, witnessing Ryoma Kokichi's account. I'm running away from Gonta! What is your alibi? I tried hiding in the classroom. When I was running from I even tried hiding in the girls' bathroom! Try hiding in the girls' bathroom? Filthy male pervert! What's Maki's alibi? Then right before nighttime, I got tired and fell asleep. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? Are you sure you did not stay at the gym? No, in my own room! Wait, who was he talking to? He said, are you sure you did not stay at the gym? You need to calm down and focus on one at a time. I'm gonna concentrate. I was the only one alone in the gym. 
for about five minutes. Himiko and the others were with me. They left with Gonta. That was five minutes before 9 p.m. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? Are you sure you did not stay? Okay, hold on. Uh, are you sure you did not stay at the gym? Immediately after Kokichi left the Ultimate Entomologist Lab at 9 p.m., last night he was caught by Kurumi in the entrance hall and stayed with her until 10 p Okay, yeah, that's the one. At the gym. No, in my own room! Jeez. Gotcha! I heard it! I heard it! Amongst all of you assholes talking over me. <laughs> Actually, I wasn't really talking, but whatever. No, I think Kurumi is telling the truth. Kokichi's story proves it. Right when I got to the entrance hall, Groomy spotted me. That was right after I left Gonta's lab, so it was around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking if I was up to no good. She just kept talking, and finally she let me go around 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. A whole hour. Well, only the first half hour was a lecture, then we played tag for the other half. Kokichi met Kirumi at 9 p.m., and they were together until nighttime. Gonta went to the gym to catch Himiko and Angie, five minutes before 9 o'clock. After I left Gonta's lab, I ran into Kirumi. I'm pretty sure Kirumi stayed at the gym five minutes till 9 o'clock. This information could have been told to us beforehand. Sorry, forgot. I definitely didn't keep it a secret to make the trial more interesting. For God? It seems far more plausible that you are telling another lie. Unlike robots, we meatbags can't pull out our memories from our hard drive. Was that supposed to offend me? Your irrationality fills me with pity. <laughs> if I am the culprit, that would mean I killed Ryoma within five minutes, transported him to the gym, and hid him in the piranha tank. This seems highly unlikely. If you called Ryoma out to the gym and killed him there, you wouldn't need to move him. All you would have to do is hide him in the piranha tank. Gonta was in the midst of heading to the gym to capture Angie. Are you claiming I took advantage of that and called Ryoma for a rendezvous at the gym? Um, that'd be pretty difficult. We should probably look at other possibilities. Maybe someone snuck into the gym while Kirumi and I were busy talking. The only ones capable of that are the other three with no alibis. Mew, Kaito, and Maki! Ah, you're including me too? <laughs> but there's actually one person we can rule out of the suspects list. Which one is that? Right? There's one person who's totally not suspicious. Say who it is already. One person can be eliminated as suspect according to Kokichi. He must be talking about the figure he saw. They would certainly have an alibi. We need to pin this down who it was. The fact lies in Kokichi, Gonta, and Mew's statements. According to what we know, the figure Kokichi saw must be... It's Mew. <laughs> Nor was Kaito with my voluptuous body. That's it! Kokichi, you're talking about... Mew, right? What? Mew? <laughs> yeah, you can take her off the list. She actually has an alibi. Booyah! Suck it, nerds! <laughs> Wait a sec, since when does she have an alibi? If you compare everyone's statements, there's no other possibility. Oh yeah, I did see something odd while Kurumi was lecturing me. Something odd. I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. It was too dark for me to go out and see who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. A girl walking around half-naked? Who else could it be but the horny exhibitionist Mew? We can't just jump to conclusions like that. He just saw a shadow, right? That could have been anyone walking around in women's underwear. Even me! <laughs> Different issue. <laughs> no, it's Mew, without a doubt. Mew and Gonta's statements prove it. I don't remember these two. Oh, Gonta see Mew, but Gonta's face get red hot, so Gonta no could bring her. 
Your face got red hot. That means you were hot on her trail, right? Uh, no, um, she used her, what she call it, secret woman weapon, and then... Huh? Uh, oh, uh... uh <laughs> oh, I just had to use my secret woman weapon. I see, I see. It sounds like Gonta got an eyeful, hmm? <laughs> what? Why the heck were you in your underwear, Mew? Oh, well, because, you know, I'm pretty stacked, so... I figured I'd take my clothes off so Gonta would be too flustered to touch me. <laughs> That's my story and I'm sticking to it, you cockroaches! Anyway, I think the blood rushed to both of Gonta's heads because he got super embarrassed. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you don't look like you're not embarrassed either. You look like you're having a hard time with this also. <laughs> you look super upset. <laughs> I noticed a lot of detail, and I know I'm looking at this, like, weird, and it's like, ignore me, that's not important, that's not the detail we need to look at right now. I noticed that Kokichi and Gonta, a lot of the characters in this game have a lot of, like, veins in their detail. Like, Kokichi, I noticed he rebutes a statement, he has a vein in his upper forehead. And, I'm not sure if it's a vein, or it's dirt, or a graphical error, it's really hard to tell. Mew was in her underwear, and Gonta... Got weird feeling. <laughs> so Gonta ran away. Well, when you got the body of a goddess, it's only natural to want to flaunt it. I show my panties to the boys all the time. And I mean all the time. How uh So you're modest. welcome, Gonta. Think of me during your next tug session. I don't think Gonta even knows what that means. Most of that was unintelligible nonsense. But it would seem that Mew has an actual alibi. Yep, it took a while. But at least we got everyone's alibis cleared up. We should remember all of this in case we need to recall these events again. Alibis for yesterday has been recorded in a monopad. That leaves Kaito and Maki as the only ones with no alibis. Correct, Korakio. Then one of them must be the culprit. But which one, I wonder? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch the culprit by its... Hold up! Don't decide just yet! <laughs> Two prime suspects, Kaido and Maki. But something inside me doesn't want to accuse Kaido. I want to believe Kaido until he's proven guilty. I will trust him. Uh, maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit w No, we should do something more fun. And I have the perfect idea. I don't like that change in voice there. Himiko's still flipping out from the last time. She hasn't said a word. What? We narrowed it down to two people. And one of those two is the culprit, right? Since we don't have to randomly accuse each other, finding the truth just got much easier. So let's find the truth with a more effective method. What is the effective method? And what is this effective method? Yeah, thanks, Kurumi. If one of them is the culprit, then the innocent one should know who the guilty one is. Yeah? Because if you know you're not the culprit, then you can just accuse the other person. Yes, that is true. Which means there is one person among us who definitely knows who the culprit is. To that someone who knows, do your best to convince us. Work harder. Work harder? Have the two argue for their innocence. That's how we'll decide our culprit. Even if we did that, wouldn't they just pass the blame back and forth? That's what I'm and... thinking. I don't know where he's going with this. Huh? You guys talk about cooperation and teamwork, but you're all afraid. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I just kind of thought about this. I thought about this real hard for a second, and um, with his ultimate talent, is he actually trying to train all of us? Like, that that is what his talent is, and even if he's being like a super douche child baby, he is kind of doing like a bunch of team training exercises. You're too scared to point your fingers at others, so you hide behind the word trust. How do you expect to find the culprit when you're all worried about each other's feelings? 
If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit! If we want to find the liar, I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. No more pointless deductions. All we need is for them to fight for their lives. Okay. So let's host an argument that's totally not boring, but super fun. <laughs> oh, by the way, oh, by the way, Suichi later. I'm going to hang out with you. We're going to have more sodas, right? Right? I, it was just a one-time thing, man. I don't really... No, it's okay. I already got the key to your room. <laughs> we'll catch the culprit in their lies when we find a contradiction. We'll scare the culprit until they screw up! That's how a true class trial works. I really like Kokichi's voice actor. It's really uh, enticing. Right, Monokuma? <laughs> a development like that would liven things up a bit. Yep, I totes agree. You're agreeing with Monokuma? Just whose side are you on? I'm on your side. I don't want to die either, you know. That's why we need to take this seriously. A hot debate to smoke out the liar. And how do you expect us to start this? If you guys need some help getting started, I can give out the first topic. <laughs> I misread. Our first topic is this. Ta-da! I misread that line. It was about to burst out in laughter. And I thought he said, I thought he said, if you guys need some help getting started, I work at Hot Topic. <laughs> the cups pad. Not just any cups pad, but the one given to our latest victim, Ryoma. When we started investigating, I went straight to his room to borrow it. Borrow. So, it wasn't the culprit who took the video from his room, it was you. And the reason why I brought it out just for this occasion is... Because one of these two had Ryoma's Moda video. Dun dun dun! One of these two had it? And for us to figure that out, we need to know who this Moda video belongs to. Take a guess, everyone! Whose motive video did Ryoma have? The motive video that Ryoma had, was it Kaido or Maki's? Duh, it's Maki's. I should know the answer, but we can't say that or else Kaido will know which one we have. We're gonna lie. Could it be neither? I never would've asked that if I thought the answer would be that boring. Did you forget this motive video belonged to either Kaido or Maki? Uh, everyone's staring at me. I even got a question wrong that I know the answer to. That's it. Okay, I thought, we were gonna, I thought I was going to be able to pull off a lie. It was <laughs> Maki's motive video, right? Wow, how did you ever guess? Ooh, I know, I know. It's because the motive video that you have belongs to Kaito. Process of elimination wins again. The obvious answer was Maki, right? Is that true, Shuichi? Yes, you're right. And what about that? Just because Ryoma had my motive video, that doesn't make me the culprit. <laughs> Finally, you said something! This is how a debate should be. I only brought up the motive video to make you talk. Excuse me? Okay, now that we got the party rolling, let's get you and Kaito ready to argue. Remember, if you're not the culprit, then that means the other one is. Got that? I didn't think either of them could be the culprit, because, like, Maki hasn't been explored at all, and Kaido's kind of the replacement for Suichi in kind of that place. Let's start this extreme death debate. Tear up the other's lies. Rip each other apart. Wait just a minute. W what are you trying to- Quit screwing around! We don't need to debate who's a culprit! I'm not the culprit! That's for sure. Which means... Kaido, wait. Maybe Kokichi is wrong. Maybe he... But Maki isn't a culprit either. What? Huh? huh? Uh, is he already catching on to us? What? 
<laughs> He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> huh? Really? You're saying neither of you are the culprit? Then what would be the point of this whole debate? Who cares about that? All I know is that neither me or Maki are the culprit. Is that just it's a just gut a feeling? Got. Yeah, it's just a gut feeling. Uh, a hunch? <laughs> are you being serious? You do know all our lives are on the line here, right? And you're betting our lives on just a hunch? Huh, you don't get it. This isn't just any hunch. This is an official hunch from the Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. I don't know, I kind of somewhat believe in him here. I'm gonna follow Kaito on this, even though it's nonsensical bullshit at the moment. What? <laughs> How like, this what? is even more difficult to comprehend than Kokichi's antics. You're totally not serious. You can't be that stupid, right? No, he might actually be that stupid. <laughs> Damn idiot! A toadant idiot! <laughs> hey, don't call me an idiot! Anyway, me and Maki aren't the culprit. There's no doubt about it. I believe in Maki. You what? You believe in her? But Is she just blushing? What? Does she always blush? Huh? I don't gotta base it on anything. No matter where the clues point. In the end, the only thing that matters is what I believe, right? Whether I believe or not. Whether I want to believe or not. That's the only thing that matters. So you astonish you me in a weird way. Evidence. In a weird way, man. <laughs> in an extremely weird way. Only baseless conjecture. But I totally get where he's coming from. Cause I wanna believe in him. This I knew too. this was going to end in one of the uh four on well, however many on however many debates, the scrum debate or whatever it's called. You want to believe, huh? Yeah, I think I can understand that. Wanting to believe in someone is a beautiful act, yes. However, it is a sentiment that has no place in a class trial. He's an idiot after all. It's okay to be idiot, as long as you believe in people. <laughs> Thanks, Gota. Guys, I said don't call me an idiot. It really hurts my feelings. <laughs> I like Kaido a lot more than I did when we started, that's for sure. <laughs> it's true. That's not what a class trial's about. We're supposed to think logically. You can't let your feelings into it. It's absurdity, total absurdity. But then again, that absurdity saved me before, right? Why? Why do you want to? Why do you want to trust me, Kaido? There's a chance that I'm the cult. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? What? <laughs> Isn't that why you believed in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might get betrayed in the end, but if I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in the people I want to believe in. If I can trust my logic, maybe I should trust Kaido's feelings too. Yeah, it'll work out in the end, so... I'll believe in Maki as well. What? <laughs> She's just like, what? Are you guys all idiots? What are you doing? That's our Kaido, right? Making us think with our hearts. <sighs> you too? How could the ultimate detective believe in someone without proof? But there's no proof linking Maki or Kaido to this crime either. I believe in innocent until proven guilty. For now, they are innocent. Right on, Shuichi. I knew I picked a good sidekick. Uh, and by the way, I might be the ultimate detective, but I'm in training. I told you that, didn't I? I'm just an apprentice, not a real detective. <laughs> His face. <laughs> How do you plan to get closer to the truth without suspecting either of them? Unless you have evidence to the contrary, these two will remain suspect. So I... Huh? Whoa, I'm sorry, I skipped that, because I'm so used to having to manually skip things, and it just cut him off straight to what Maki was saying. So I just had to turn it around, right? It's not like I owe that idiot a favor or anything just because he defended me. Baka. But that hopeless idiot- Seriously, enough- Wait, seriously, what's happening with my controller? I'm not even pushing anything now. But that hopeless idiot may have encouraged me a bit. Seriously, it's enough, stop calling me an idiot. Enough! Stop calling me an idiot! <laughs> What are you trying to say, Maki? 
I didn't want to say anything, but I can't stay silent forever. So, what's the reason why you're quiet the whole time? So I'll tell you. Oh? Tell us what? I met up with Ryoma during nighttime yesterday. What? With Ryoma? At nighttime? So Ryoma was still alive at nighttime? I thought the crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night. But that's wrong, because I met up with Ryoma during nighttime. If that's true, then we have no basis for suspecting only Kaito and Maki. That's right! Everyone suspected them, because they no have alibis for those times. We literally got here straight because of Kaido's bullshit. That means me and Maki aren't suspects anymore! Quit fucking around! You think I'm dumb enough to swallow that line of crap? Yes, this seems too convenient. But why did Maki wait until now to mention that? <laughs> it's totally obvious! Maki's so desperate that she has to lie. Was that a lie? Did Maki lie to us? It's true, we don't have all the facts. But why would Maki say that now of all the times? If I trust her innocence, I should believe her statement. But should I? Class trial intermission? I don't want an intermission right now. I want to continue. Right now. You know what? Kaido's inspired me. I'm not even going to play this game anymore. I already know the answer. <laughs> Just skip straight to chapter 5 or 6 or whatever the last one is. I heard that there's actually 6 trials in the whole game. I think that's more than all the other Danganronpa games. I'm not sure though. I feel like 1 and 2 both had 5. Now then. It seems the voting is finished. Now then, let's see what this, see the result. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully the wrong one? What the hell you saying? Wait a second, what result? Voting time hasn't happened yet. Uh. Yes, it has. Don't you remember, Monosuke? Oh. No, it hasn't. You're the one who doesn't remember, Monotaro. Oh. oh, man, you're right. Silly me, I'm so forgetful. Yeah. Wow, I didn't expect you all to get worked up over such a small lie. You kids are pretty gullible, huh? Now then. Well, anyway, let's just get this trial and jump ahead to chapter three. The hell you say? Well, wait a second, we don't know the culprit yet. Uh. <laughs> yeah, who killed Rentaro? <laughs> that was chapter one's case. I gave you for that just forgetful. I just want to get to the very last case, and Akane's just sitting there in Danganronpa 2, and she's like, guys, hold on, I figured it out. And they're like, you realize what's going on here? And she's like, no, did you guys know that Taro Taro killed Biakia? <laughs> Anyways, I'm actually going to end this episode here, and I will see you guys on the next one, which is going to be the next and final part of the class trial, I'm assuming that these are as short as they are. And we're going to figure out who the culprit killer man is. Or woman. Yeah. Anyway, see you guys next time. And I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please leave a like. I would really like to get them out more often, and like... I, I'm still trying to do every other day like I was before. It's just been a lot more difficult than it was back when I was releasing, like, Radiant Dawn. But I'm trying my best to get videos out as fast as I can. So, uh, excuse me for not having a very consistent schedule at the moment. Or, like, the past month, basically. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a like. It helps out a lot. And if you want to become a member of the Dust Brigade, just click subscribe. Thank you and see you on the next episode. Have a wonderful day. Right now.